friends, Marjack79 here, and we are back again today with our second to last Super Smash Brothers Amiibo unboxing. Today we are taking a look at Pyra and Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm very excited to get this in. I actually had to hunt for this. <laughs> I love that. I thought I was just going to roll into Target, pick it up, and bring it home, and be done. Nah. <laughs> Every Target, Best Buy, Walmart, and GameStop in my city sold out within a day. I had to hit eBay for this. This is crazy. It reminded me of the old days. I had to wait in the mine at like 3 o'clock in the morning to get the new Smash Brothers Amiibos. You know, it's only fitting though, I guess. The second to last one had to put in a little bit of hunt for it. Had to take us back to our roots, right? <laughs> it's crazy, man. Alright, let's get a look at them here. Hopefully they're worth it. You know, I actually ended up paying $50 for it on eBay regularly retail for 30 bucks so you know $20 extra I'm used to the game I've been doing this for years so I'm not really that concerned about the extra $20 I'm just happy to, to get them in man so the package here comes out good really cool looking characters I never played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 so you know whatever but definitely cool characters to use in the Smash Brothers though so okay let's go ahead let's crack these babies open let's get a look at them here and we're back, man, and now we have our pirate and our Mithra outside of the package. And these gals are beautiful. So let's go ahead and get a close-up of Pyra here. Get the pink flowing hair. Let's look at the detail on the face. Comes out good. I like the web design. Our pink and purplish outfit here. I like the design on the sword. Comes out good. So funny, it's kind of sad that the Smash Brothers Amiibo line is coming to an end. I mean, I feel like they just got better over time. I wish it wasn't coming to to an end. Hopefully, whenever they, you know, release the new Nintendo system and come out with a new Smash Brothers, you know, we get to do this all over again. I guess we'll see, man. So good. I like the gold. Uh, even got the little gold design underneath the shoe there. Design of the sword. Assets look good. No pun intended. <laughs> but yeah, definitely the facial design. Like the little brunette. Uh, the gold. Uh, uh, hair clip at the top there that comes out good as well. You see the little designs in the hair and it comes out good. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at Mithra here. Kind of the same. I like the white and gold outfit she's got going on here. The face comes out good as well. I like the wind affecting her hair. Shoulder pads. I like her sword as well. It comes out good. She's got like an angel look in her design. I like the clear stand that she's sitting on top of there. Got the same design in her shoes as well. Just good. Just all around stellar figures. I see why they sold out, truly. Because, I mean, they're beautiful, man. <laughs> they really are. If you're collecting the Smash Brothers Amiibo, like I have been for the last 10, 15 years, uh, these are must-haves, obviously. Sucks uh, if you didn't pre-order like I did. But, you know, like I said, I don't mind paying the extra 20 to kind of finish up my collection here. Uh, let's do one more thing here before we add them to the museum. And we're back. Now we have Shulk added on to the mix from the original Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, that's special. I just wanted to pose on the Xenoblade Chronicles characters together. Even though these characters don't tend to interact with each other, because Pyra and Mithra are in the sequel, and uh, uh, Shulk is in the first one. It's still cool. That's it, man. That's the kind of the thing with these Amiibo videos, man. I'm just showcasing. There's no articulation or anything like that to go through. They're basically just statues, but I don't know. I find it cool, so that's why we do these videos. So, all right, man. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move them to the museum, and we will begin to close out here. The only one left is Sora. Believe it or not, it's crazy, man. One more. It's kind of sad, but, you know, closing out that collection is always a good thing, though. Yeah, you know, I get to look at it forever. And we are back, my friends, and now we have our Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Power and Mythra added onto the shelf. That comes out wonderful. I'm very happy, man. Like I stated before, we have one more Smash Brothers Amiibo left. Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Oh boy, I was getting emotional. <laughs> I'm lying, but y'all but get my drift on, man. So excited, look at this, man. So happy to have this collection and the museum. Truly, I am. If you didn't know before, I should tell you now. The Amiibos is kind of where it all started for me, man. It's kind of where the collecting 
bug really came through. Of course, you know, probably a lot of you that watch my channel for the action figures know me through the Dragon Ball stuff, the Mario stuff, and the Sonic stuff, but the Amiibos was really where the collecting bug, uh, the passion kind of lit the flame to really, you know, progress into the rest of what you see here. So, very, very happy to have this stuff, man, truly. So, as always, my friends, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. You can find me at youtube.com slash marjack79. I am also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, my friends, I will see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you guys later.